Hello then and welcome to round 9 of the Master of Manufacturers Cup Championship. Today we have 10. Uh, we'll have to restart off the quality sadly as Nelson joined towards the end of the set, uh, just as we at the start and he's not going to have to change bike so we are going to do that. So yeah, we'll, we'll restart after quali. I know it's on the same bike, but I let him off as he did just join the lobby. So he won't believe a penalty. We have 10 today. We are missing, again, a, a load of the really top guys. So, to no surprise that again this week it's going to be a standout rider. Although last week when I said that, the standout rider didn't finish on the podium in either race. I won't spoil it no further, go watch last week if you haven't already. But we are missing Julito, we are missing Joe, we are missing Sire, and obviously Graf who is not racing. So again it's only flat out of top 5, Aaron Jacko. Oh he's not on the lap. He's invalidated it. <coughs> I think Legendary, no Legendary's not next, no, it's Matias. Oh and Craig's got in his way. Craig has absolutely destroyed Matthias is lap. Uh, oh my Jesus Christ. And anyway, I think El Turco is up next. Again, there's 10 today, but we're, and we're missing four that I'm aware of. One let, let, let me know. There's four that we're missing that I didn't know about, and they are three of them are top guys, so we're missing uh, Dodo as well. Which, no way. But it's fine, I'll take that spice off a 31 2. That's definitely going to get beaten. Oh, and doesn't doesn't improve. You'd expect that to be beaten. If it doesn't get beaten, I'll be a bit concerned. Oh, I'm going to say, obviously, Platt's probably going to get a 20, low 27, is my guess. Uh, I reckon everyone else, I reckon it's going to be. Then get a, 20, a low 28. I'll say that's a solid time on the board. But I think Platt is simply aim for a, aim for a low 27 at least. 29.4 from touch. I said low 28 is what you want to be trying to aim for for second place. I would say maybe even a 27, high 27. As we we Jack has just. Why would you do that? Why would you just cut the track backwards? Or did he not mean to go that way? He's joined back. We're restarting anyway. As AGP Aguigui goes to the top for 29.2. We're restarting anyway, but Jack will start to start last. I, th I think... I don't think he meant to. I think he just... Went the wrong way. <laughs> Just see what's happened to Jack, so yeah, that's very unfortunate. We'll restart off the quality anyway because of Nelson's bike, so I'm gonna make sure that he changes as El Turco is back into the pit. Uh, he just crashed. Matthias crashed on a red sector. Aaron Jack is the only person on a flying lap. <laughs> a couple about to start one. Can Aaron Jacko bounce back? He's running an orange 41 on the orange Repsol Honda. There's a nice group of people behind him, so they're all chasing him down. Hopefully, Plot doesn't have too much pressure on him today, as, uh, like I said, he's, he's the only one out of what we've called this so far this season, the top five here. Craig and Platt both in red set to ones. And now Jacko goes into third. So, you'd hope that these guys will be getting a 20 at least. I think Platt should be getting a 27. Craig is the next one on the lap. Oh no, it's actually Nelson. See, man, the leaker is new to the calendar this year. Definitely a track that people have enjoyed. It's definitely a hit to the calendar. I know lots of people like it, so... 
got used loads at the start of the game. It fell off a little bit, but when the new track comes out, you're always in the like it. There's three people in red sectors. And Nelson's on three orange as he runs off the track. But it's still valid, so if we just get a lap time, should put something on the board. Craig is set to go top of the time sheet here. Yeah. On board the premium prime at Ducati. As Craig goes to top, Nelson goes into fourth. And Platt has gone first, but I can't see that's on 27.3. So, like I said, low 27 for Platt, he's already achieved that. And Craig with a low 28, he's already achieved that too. So, I've already predicted the time so far. Can anyone get with inside a second off Platt? We'd hope so. Greg is setting up his lap. Legendary is. Setting his next lap, but it's the only one that lap. Remember, if you didn't watch last week, uh, get off this video now. <laughs> watch that one first, because in about 10 seconds, I'm about to spoil what happened last week. As we know with Matthias, he did win his first ever race last week in this competition, so it was a well done to him. Down on the Grassini, now he's on board the Mooney, so exact same performance bike. Can do it again today. Never say never. Who thought Julito was going to win? And he didn't win either. So all the other riders capitalised on that. Plats another red sector. <laughs> Here comes Legendary though. If he improves, he's probably going to jump to at least 7th. You would hope so. Because he's 4 seconds off right now. Ruger's gone down, legendary to the line, and up into six, that's better. Aaron Jacko, oh my life, he's sliding it a bit. <laughs> oh my god, that rear was all over the place. Anyway, as he comes to the line, it's sure you're going to lose time from that, and he only improved by three seconds, so he doesn't jump position. Uh, Matthias is going to set his first lap, and then it will be plat. Matthias can just set a lap, you'd hope it'd be at least 8th, as El Turco is a whole second off. Nelson going down, he's going to get one more lap in. Matthias to the line, and he goes into 7th, and he will get... Oh no, I'll say 2 more laps, but he's going to Platt goes to the top with a 26 6. <laughs> Craig and Freud. Oh no, let's get inside a whole second. Craig has got an um, absolutely massive gap to third, 1.4 seconds. So Craig's in a bit of no man's land right now. He's separated highly between all the riders. <laughs> Aaron Jacker's on another lap. This is surely going to promote him up position. I mean. Uh, I think Aaron Jacko's using TCS1 or something because. His bike just looks so unstable and he is sliding all over the place and he just looks like he's losing so much time. He pass it out the final corner, look his bike's snapping all over the place, it just... It looks horrible. The bike looks absolutely horrible. As he comes to the line, he's going to get one more lap and he jumps on the seventh like I thought he would. El Turco then, he's up next. He's in last right now by over a second, so this is... A big lap for him, and you need to count on his 4.6 seconds off Platt. Craig's improving furthermore, so he's having a really solid go at it. Oh, Turk has been validating because that is session over. Legendary's in the pit lane. Craig is grey sector 2. Not so much going on now. I think it's just going to be Grigley that we are waiting for. Mm. 
set actually if I look now what bike Nelson's supposed to be on. Nelson needs to have to go on the factory Yamaha, the Repsol, RNF, LCR or Grassini. Uh really when they come to the line, he doesn't quite beat Craig. That's the end of the qualifying session. The positions on the starting grid are now confirmed. So then, Platt will start on pole. Uh, Craig will start in the second and Grewby in third. They're the only ones within two seconds. Touch and fourth, that is really good qualifying position for him actually. Didn't even notice that. So, uh, touch and fourth. Uh, Nelson in fifth, Legendary in sixth, Aaron Jacko seventh, Matthias eighth and El Turco in ninth. For race one. Right then, so, Platt is on pole, Craig is in second, and Gweek is in third. Here we go then, and it's lights out and away we go at Mandalik in Indonesia. And it's a perfect start from Platt as he maintains the lead. Legendary's in P2 though, as he said out the inside, he made contact with Craig. And I think they've all made it through safely, the two Snookies are in last. Oh, Craig's had massive contact and he's gone down and he's taken so much out of him. That's Nelson that he's taken out. In a massive wobble, Craig. It was so unfortunate, but those two have sadly gone down. In a day, it's Platt at the front. And he needs to not make the same mistake as Julito last week and rush things. He's got plenty of time. And he knows he's the fastest, so he just needs to take his time and... Bring it home as Gweek is trying to send a move up the inside of Legendary, but it can't quite make it stick. <laughs> oh no, Legendary made a mistake there, and Gweek has made his way through now. Oh, he hits the curve, he's a massive wobble, and that's not quite promoted Legendary through, but he's going to be right on him, on board the Aprilis. He's definitely got the power out of the corners. Touch and touch, he's going to make a move on Aaron. Make contact, but it can't make quite a move. And no, Aaron Jacko's hit the curve and gone down. So that's going to promote the two at the back up a position and now Jack is going to drop to last place. So then, Platt, he's already got a one second lead at the end of lap one. And now he just has to control his gap and not make any mistakes. Still though, I still think anyone for the podium is on. Who knows, we know Platt likes to make the occasional mistake. He might not finish on even on the podium yet. Jack's on the back of touch now. If I was Jack, I would make a move into turn 10. I would just try and get right on his back and then send a move into turn 10. Oh no, he's gonna make a move here because touch has run off the track. So that, that's a free move for Jack. And he's made the move early from mistake, but he's actually got off the track himself. Now. And he's on 2-1, he's on touch, he's on 3 with Nelson on 2 as well, and Legendary on 1 as well as El Turk. <coughs> the front 2 still without warning, so it's Craig and Aaron Jack. Ooh. Legend uh, Legendary is now coming under pressure from Jack, and Jack has... Oh my life, he's got so much more power out of the corner. And he's going to get on the power early, he's going to take... A better line, he's going to try and slide it up his inside. And literally gets on the curb and they make contact. <laughs> and no, literally makes a move up the inside and he forces Jack off the track. But yeah, oh my, Legendary's going to hold position. <laughs> As he makes a mistake there, and Legendary's just got no drive out of the corner. But can he get back in front of the Suzuki man? Well, no, there's contact from behind. Matthias gets from touch. So there's contact there, though. Legendary sitting in behind Jack now. See Jack on board the Suzuki. This is one of his strongest bikes, so he needs to try and find a way. He needs to try and catch back up to Guigui before Legendary can fight back. Jack's run off there again. He's, he looks like he's struggling. Turn 8. 
So you're going to try and get that fixed up as Jack run wide. No. Turf has gone on the curb. And well, that's got no physical to catch up for Nelson. He's already had a crash this race. Touches onto the back of Matthias again after Matthias made his way through. And actually does not take a way tighter line. Is he going to try and slide out the inside? No, he can't. But can he get the run into the final corner? This is a battle for fourth here between the three riders on three different manufacturers. The Aprilian KTM should have an advantage in these corners. Touch going to go for a late move up the inside and he makes it stick. What a move. That was a lunge and a half. It was a brilliant move. <laughs> Matthias, he's trying to find a way back. The touch is wide. No, he's not. Matthias, I don't agree, he's gone down, he's crushed out of second place and his bike's in the gravel trap and he, oh, he's going to lose a lot of time. <laughs> that is a horrible crush. I mean, he's, he was in second place and he's gone all the way down to ninth. Matthias has gone down as well somewhere. And Craig and Nelson, who crashed on lap one, they are up to fifth and sixth position. And Craig's only a second behind off touch. And touch only four temps, or oh no, two temps now. Behind a legendary, so Craig is still on for a podium here, despite a crash. Because these two are going to be battling. Legendary's hit the curb. Platt now, who starts lap five, has already got a seven-second lead. So he's only got a crash worth the lead. Turco is going to come under pressure from Guigui. Oh, wait, I'll take it off. I'm sorry. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no that's what I say. That's Guigui. He's high sided. And Guigui's dropped down to last place. And it's. Oh, Jack's got himself a long lap. So, he's going to have to take it because Legendary is only three seconds behind. So, he's going to have to take it. Platt's lost his lead a bit, so I'm guessing he's made a mistake, or that might actually be why Jack got his long lap, he might have gained time. We could break so much later than Legendary. Uh, Matthias, even. And here, though, so here's the three way battle for third. This is for the podium. Legendary touching Craig. Touch is on four track limits, Craig is on none, and Legendary is on one. So touch is the man at risk here. He's in the middle and he's on warnings, but Legendary's run wide. Can he get the cut back? Craig goes onto the curb. And Craig, he's going to try to get the cut back. He makes make contact. And he finds his way through, but Craig makes contact with Legendary. And Craig's made the double pass. And is Touch going to break later than Legendary? Yeah, he does. And Touch goes round the outside. Touch goes round the outside of Legendary. What a move it is. Uh, Touch going to break later than Craig. He does. He tries to get the inside line. And Jack's taken his long up successfully. <coughs> and Nelson's going to play a part in this battle soon. So, he's play for Iron Touch. He's got himself a long lap. That's completely destroyed his race. I'm at Craig's made his way up into second, so Jack's made a mistake somewhere. And Jack's high sided! Oh, I do not believe. Oh, I just. What? I don't know, what, I don't know what's happening there, but Nelson made, in front, made his way in front of Legendary. And now Nelson is on for the podium, but he's on four track limit warnings as well. So he's got to be careful, and if he does get a long lap, then him and Touch are both enough to take long laps. 
we're going to come down to this last lap. Anyway, Platt starts the last lap. <laughs> Touch then. He's on the podium. Oh no, he, oh, no he's gone to the gravel. And his mate comes out of Nelson. No, an unsafe region in there. And he has lost time with his long lap as well. He, oh my, he's just hit legendary art. Oh my. Yeah, he's racing. Yeah. I mean, I don't really want him to wait, but... Yeah. He's waiting, I won't give him any, any warning. I would have just given him a long lap, but... Unfortunately, for Tats, you know what he did wrong. And he's managed to drop all the way down to 10th because of that. Oh, my, he's hit Grigory as well. It's all going to disaster for Tats. What could have been? Oh, no, Matthias has crashed. And, oh, my, this is still... And Aaron Jacko has gone down as well. So this battle for 7th or 6th even... Oh, my life! Tats has been absolutely... Oh, I, oh, what on earth have I just seen? He just been absolutely catapulted. He's actually swung off his bike. Wig is fine for Turco though. But anyway though, there's one man that we need to watch and it's Platt and he comes on and he wins race one by 11 seconds. Craig is going to get in second. There's still a battle but at the back I want to watch it but Craig comes along he does a wheelie and he's gone down. Oh no, there's race gone down as well. Nelson comes on, he gets third. So Craig and Nelson, who crashed earlier on the race, they get on the pole. Jack comes over in fourth. Grigory's to get fifth. He's in. Wait a minute. Grigory's in last at the start of this lap, and now he's in fifth. So Grigory's gonna get fifth. El Turco sixth. Legendary seventh. Matthias is gonna get eighth. Touch in ninth, and now in Jacko tenth. Wow. As the riders do their cool down laps, let's take so a look then, at the final classification of the race we've just that seen. That was race one at Mandalika. Platt secures the win with the fastest lap as well, so that will be an extra point. <laughs> Craig gets second, solid result as he crashed him with Nelson when he crashed, so really good results from them. Couldn't have got a higher position anyway, so well done to them. Uh, Jack gets fourth, Guigui in fifth. El Turco 6th, Legendary 7th, Matthias 8th, Touch 9th, and Aaron Jacko in 10th. Brace Touch is in 2nd, and Matthias in 3rd. Here we go then. It's lights out, and away we go. And it's a goatly start from Touch and Matthias. Aaron's not the best of starts, so we now head down into turn 1. Matthias does have the better line. Can Touch get the cut back on Matthias? There's contact between people, and there's they all stayed on. <laughs> as was, as was that's Jack, he's been forced behind. There's more contact, but they've all stayed on. Who's going to be first one to crash? Hopefully no one. That's big contact there between the Pramac and that's Craig who's gone down. That did not look good. <laughs> it's a Mooney 1-2 though. As Platt. Oh, he, he made contact with Matthias there. I don't think that's cautionable, but Platt is already taken the lead, and there's lots of contact from behind. And that's Nelson who's gone down. Joe's hit a rep soul. Craig's now got a long lap somehow. And Jack makes contact with Aaron, and he's somehow stayed on. He'll find hot, but there's a Honda coming in hot with Jack, and then Joe sends it up the inside of the Honda of Aaron Jacko. And Touch has run it over the corner. And oh my life, that's a dangerous rejoin. But they've all stayed in one pit. And oh my, Aaron, oh my life. What was that? And they're going to make a sandwich as he gets hit. And Aaron goes down. What a crazy start <laughs> to the first lap of the race. Still though, it's a Mooney 1-2. I'm sure both these guys will be very happy about this. Let's contact the back and Craig's gone down again. What a disaster. 
It's from second place. And what's the race isn't over yet. I mean, there's still another nine laps to go that you can catch up on. <coughs> so it's not over yet. Joe, who's just joined this race, is uh, sitting in P4. <coughs> and Joe and Jack are going to be hunting down Matthias. And Jack, he gets away with a line. So through this part of the track, he's going to be better than Matthias. But it's towards this last set where Matthias should have a bit better drive through these corners. The Suzuki's a better bike in general, though, you'd say. Can Jack line up a move for the final corner? Can he get it nicely up here? The old Matthias has run insanely wide and that has gifted Jack the second place. Aaron's gone down, that's some from Craig up position and he's left. I don't know why you'd do that when Craig had a long lap and you might not finish last. Gwigui's on the back of touch. Can he make his way through? Touch runs wide, and Gwigui does get through. <coughs> As he cuts the corner a little bit, Gwigui is on full warning, so he's not to be careful. As Touch will gain a position, Touch is only on two, so he still needs to be careful though. Touch carries a lot of corner speed through there, and he carries a lot through there as well. Oh my! You're playing a bit of a dangerous game here, Touch. Is he going to try and break later? <laughs> yep. That was a silly move. And that always deserved touch to go down there. That was a bit aggressive. He came from miles back and there was, wasn't too much room. That's unfortunate for him. Once again, Nelson, who just suffered a really bad start, is looking to cut through the field again. And he's definitely going to have to get past El Turco. He takes a very nice line through there. A little bit wide, but he can definitely gain time on the two in front. And Matthias has made a mistake somewhere. And the three on the podium now are that can hopefully control the pace and they can just stay on the bike, they should just have it. Like Marsh wasn't lagging too much today. Uh oh, well. No, Jack somehow crashed there. I didn't see it fully, but I, I don't know how he's crashed there. And he's going to drop all the way down the order now into 7th place, just behind of Nelson and El Turco. So, these guys were all through battling for the top 5 positions. <laughs> Jack's breaking very late there. And he still gets it stopped. So, And that's touch, he's gone down. He's going to get the better of him here. Jack take a really wide line to get the cutback and he's going to get Nelson in really easily and that is... A very free position, but Nelson's going to go for the double overtake. Not quite. He, he attempted it. It looks... Oh, and Nelson hits the back of El Turco. That's going to disrupt his run. And is Jack going to run away now? Is Nelson going to send out the inside of El Turco? Oh, El Turco runs wide, and so does Jack. And Nelson makes his way in front. <laughs> Nelson's going to take no prisoners here. If he can get a good drive out this corner, he will go for a move in turn one. Platt's gone down. He's crashed out of the lead of this race. I think he should keep the lead. But Nelson sends the move up at the inside of Jack and makes his way through. But Jack can try and get the drive, but no, he can't. Joe's is still two seconds behind off Platt. <laughs> Jack takes a very wide line. Zell Tucker going to try and squeeze up the inside. He tries to, but he can't touch. He's also got a long line. Craig's got a three second penalty, but can Jack fight back? <laughs> He's fighting strong. 
And he gets that perfectly jacked up and he's going to get a good throw in here. Is he going to try and send the move up the inside? Yes, he does! <laughs> There's more contact between the two. And he's going to send them one. And El Turka can hopefully catch up with all this battle. But Nelson's not going to have that. He's going to push and shove Jack out of the way too. <laughs> They're both going to fight aggressively. Hopefully they don't end in tatters on the floor though for one of them. <laughs> oh, Nelson gets close there. He thought about it. I definitely think he's going to be... Oh, he's on the curb, and that's definitely not going to help him. And Grigri's gone down as well, so that is going to promote these to a position. And El Turco's run straight into the gravel trap, and he stayed on, but he lost a lot of time. And Nelson's going to try and send him up the inside. It's close, but Grigri is only a second behind him and the more they battle he's going to come into it as it can be become a three way battle for fourth position still two minutes on the podium as Nelson sends it back up the inside of Jack at turn one Jack sliding the rear out of turn one this is a good battle that's going on here we'll switch to the TV camera now and you can just see Gwigri he wants to get into the action here Oh, Nelson and Jack are both on four. Uh, Nelson, Jack and Guigui are all on four track limit warnings. One more warning for any of them and they will have to go through the long lap. Here comes Jack. Sends a move up the inside into fourth position. But can Nelson fight back? Yes, he will. <laughs> this has been a very entertaining battle. Jack can try and get close. Jack runs really wide and Gwigri sends up the inside. But no, Jack gets it back. Can one of them run away? I just don't see it happening. Touch has gone down again. Really unfortunate for him. I think he might be having a few problems. Jack is he's all over the back of Nelson again. He's not gonna let him go. Neither of these are. They're going to fight it to the end, and it's been a very good battle. Drake's got himself another long lap penalty. And Jack's going to get a much better drive out of turn one. He's looking for a move. Round the outside, maybe. No, Greg, he's going to try and set up the inside. He can't. And oh, they're all still in the line, and this is going to be a very good battle. Well, it has been. But can Jack send him on the inside? No, he does! What move! No contact made either. It's a perfect move up the inside. But Nelson can get better drive. He's going to get the cut back, and he gets through. And Gwigri's close to making an overtake on Jack now. But they both break late, and Jack makes his way through as well as Gwigri. They hit contact. Jack makes up the inside. There's still contact between them. And Gwigri makes his move past Nelson as well now. Nelson up the inside, and now he's gone down. There's one prisoner has gone down. It's so unfortunate. He let Gwig get past him. He tries to rush back past him up the inside, and he tips onto the curb, and he goes down. But what a battle that was. Nothing to mention as well. I don't know if Platt's pushing loads, but Platt's not... Gap Joe Lowe's and Joe's kept a pretty firm gap, so well done to Gwig is gonna send it up the inside of Jack again though. So it's like Craig having two long laps, he is gonna start edging into this slowly. Jack also has a three second penalty with four warnings. Jack goes up the inside of Gwigwi. Is her move gonna be fired back? Gwigwi runs a little wide. But he's still intact. Wiggy <laughs> breaks a lot later, and he's going to send it. Oh, what a dive bomb that is! He's going to run a little bit wide, but huh. if he made that one stick, I'd have been impressed. He runs a bit wide there. He's not going to get the best drive into this next corner either. It's going to cause Jack to gain a tam. 
and Craig is edging into this, but with his two long laps, not going to help his cause. If Jack gets another one, then he'll be on two as well. So they'll still be fighting for position, but it'll be Greedy Greedy who's going to get the runaway. But he's on four warnings too. Touch has gone down again. <coughs> Regan makes his way through on Jack, but can Jack get the cut back? <coughs> he breaks so much later and he's surely running wide. Yeah, and he loses the front. He rushed it. He rushed the move. It was from far back, and he's just throwing it away. Well, Turk has made his way in front of Jack. And Jack made a bit of a mistake there, but it's fine. And Jack's got himself... And then Nelson's on a long lap. El Turco's got a lot. El Turco's gone down. A lot of people's long laps now. <clears throat> Craig's on the back of Weebly. Is he going to send a move into turn one? He has a lot of time in this final, but he does run a little wide. He can get a good final corner. Oh, it's a bit wide. Touch across again, he's having a nightmare now. It's unfortunate for him, but... Here goes Craig. That's lag. I thought Craig went down then. Oh no, Craig is lagging a lot. Oh no. Everything's <sighs> okay now. Touch is on down again. Oh no. Touch. He's gonna carry him going. Oh, Greggy edges Craig out. He can try and send a move. He does. But anyway, the winner is Platt and he wins both races comfortably. Joe comes home in second place. Gray's made his way through on Guigui, but can Guigui fight back? Into the final corner. And I think. And Matthias gets on the podium, but Cray gets fourth. Guigui in fifth. Jack's gonna get sick on track unless unless only one long lap. Just one long lap then Jack's got it. But I think it might be two. Nelson can get a seventh anyway on track. And El Turco will not finish. As the riders do their cool down laps, let's take a look at the final classification anyway, then, of the race we've just Plant seen. Plant wins race two at Mandalika, so He's won both. He's won them comfortably. Joe gets second. Matthias in third. They he runs off the podium with a sort of race. Aguirre in fourth. Craig in fifth. Jack in sixth. Nelson seventh. And El Turco eighth. Legendary ninth. Touch in tenth. And Aaron Jacko in eleventh. And then that was round nine of the Master Manufacturers Cup Championship. And we will see you next week at Mategi for round 10. And then round 11 Silverstone. And round 12 is Valencia, which rounds off. So, anyway, that was round 9. And we'll see you next week for Mategi. See ya.